Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to talk about signs of having low DHEA or low androgen. Now if you're not sure what DHEA is or you're like, is that the fish oil thing? Is that the... Different, different thing. DHEA is actually a precursor for all of your androgens, which includes testosterone, things like that. So a lot of times people think, hmm, I might have low testosterone. I'm having some of these symptoms here. I think it's low testosterone. Is it? Well, my testosterone tested okay, but I still feel like it. I still feel like it's a problem. DHEA. If you're not getting your DHEA tested, you are missing out on this whole thing. This whole thing. Yes. And bu bumping up that DHEA can play a huge role in how your body functions. It impacts every system in your body, your brain, your nervous system, your muscle tissue, your cardiovascular system, your reproductive system, all of it, all of it. So when we look at having low DHA, here are the top five things to look at for your system and if this is an issue for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> I just choked at my spit. I got so excited about this. So first thing is having fatigue and decreased stamina. I grouped this together for a reason because it's not just about fatigue. Like, oh, I feel tired. I could use a nap. Oh, I need a little something, a little pick me up. You know, this is like, oh, I get going a little bit and then I just can't keep going. I really can't withstand the day like I used to. Or if you would normally be like, you know, I love to go on hikes. I go on hikes with friends all the time. It's so amazing. I love it. Yay, yay. I don't think I could make it, you know, in the first 10 minutes into a hike. Are you kidding me? You just don't have that stamina, that like oomph through the day like you normally would. Low DHEA. Mm -hmm. And if you're thinking right now, I, I, need, I need this. I, I need to know. I need to get this looked at. I got you. Here we go. Dutch test. Dutch test is what we look at to actually measure your DHEA levels. It's right there, right? And we look at the whole breakdown. Let me actually show you this. This is where we measure the total DHEA production. That's on the first page here, right? Look at that. That looks so nice. Like what a nice robust number there. Mm, that looks nice. Oh, but now we're going to look at the rest of the breakdown here. Look at that. That's where that DHEA is again. Oh, that, that doesn't look good. Those are all over the place, right? Holy cow. Yep. Yep. So this is what we look at for you. So I'm going to put a link here in the comments for you to get your very own Dutch test. This is fantastic because it will get sent right to you. It comes right to you in the mail. You take the test, you send it into the lab, send it to the lab, not to me, not to me, to the lab. <laughs> and then we go over your results. We go over your results and you get customized recommendations based on what you have been struggling with. So this is fantastic. I love going through Dutch tests because it is so eye-opening to see all these levels because this might be something that you're like, I didn't even think of that. I didn't think of that. I just thought I was really unmotivated. No, no. It is a low DHEA causing that fatigue and decreased stamina. Yeah, yeah. Brain fog. Brain fog. This plays a huge role in your brain fog. It also plays a huge role in your libido, right? You should have a libido. Maybe not every single day like sky high, but it should be there if you're like, yeah. Oh, I don't know where my libido went. I don't know what happened. Let's look at your DHA levels. It also has a decrease in muscle tone, muscle building ability. If you've been going to the gym and you're like, yeah, I, uh, I've been working out and been trying to like get more muscle and get more tone, but nothing's really happening. What am I doing wrong? Should I be doing different workouts? No, no, it's not necessarily the workout. Right? Does your body have what it takes to be able to build that muscle? You can be doing the fanciest workout ever. You can have the best workout gear. You can have the, the best lifting equipment and all this stuff and the fanciest trainer. That's fantastic. But if your levels are not where they should be, I don't care what you're doing. It's not going to build the muscle. You have to have your DHEA levels checked. And the last thing here is aging. Yeah. Not having enough DHEA increases your aging process. So if you're like, ooh, I am looking a little, oh yeah, I feel like I'm overall just getting older faster now. Is that, how, is that how this feels? No, 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 not when you have the right levels. So that's why doing Dutch test, getting this test really can open up so much about what's happening in your system right now and what we need to target going forward, making sure you get and keep the best results possible. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Again, go in the comments, click on that link, get your Dutch test. If you are looking for more resources, I have my books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. Fantastic resources for how to eat for your body, your hormones, and your cycle. I also have my podcast, The Female Health Solution, and my YouTube channel, which is called Dr. Beth Westy, where you can subscribe and stay updated on everything I have coming out. 
And then I have my customized tinctures. These are for your hormones. Um, this one is for helping create and maintain the right amount of estrogens. This one is for helping create and maintain the right amount of progesterones. So these come in a bundle, these come in a bundle. So you take these uh, days one through 14, days 15 through 28. So easy peasy, just like seed cycling. Very, very effective. Um, yeah, so let me know if you guys have any other questions or if you want me to deep dive into any other things like muscle building or other things to really target for that because muscle is hungry, right? If you're looking to lean out more and you're like, why isn't my metabolism working? Muscle is a huge indicator of your overall metabolism. So let me know if you want me to do any other videos on that, just drop a comment. More than happy to give you guys more information on what you're looking for. Otherwise, have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.